You would believe it guys, you wouldn't believe it. Today we're finally going for a mini cruise. So we are finally going to move and get some water so we don't have to do the trolley every other day. Which has been fine, it's been a lifesaver actually. And we're hungry so we're going to go for dinner at the pub. So we're going to take you for a little cruise. A nearby pub, the Swan, has a water point outside that we've used before. We rang up and booked a table for dinner and made sure there is no one else moored up there as we wouldn't otherwise fit. The lock keeper is on duty, so we are mooring up by the lock, waiting for it to be emptied. It's the first day this year that I'm taking my layers off, t-shirt weather for at least a couple of hours. We asked to fill up, got a green light and had a beer outside, keeping an eye on Alba. So glad the sun came out, it was very gloomy all day today. I think we're gonna need to give uh, the hull a scrub soon. I think we need to treat ourselves to a new, um, what is it, a brush? brush. We need a new brush. Yeah, the brush we've got is tragic and we've had it way too long. It's really sad. It was a self-service on the way back, which is very easy with this hydroelectric locks. That was a very successful fill up. We also had dinner, however, and it only took about two hours all in, maybe even less. So let's just see if our space is still available or if we're gonna have to do adventure mooring. Let's hope it's still there. So the spot we were in is gone, um, but there are other spaces in this field, so it's not a big deal. Um, especially now we don't have to drag the trolley with the water ca a canister on it and be close to the water point so we don't need to do that so we can be anywhere it looks like it's gonna be adventuring I don't understand why we're so far away it can't be that shallow surely I feel like there's a tree underneath well maybe we kind of came across it
You happy with adventure mooring? Adventure mooring uh, is working. Yeah, it's definitely working. Uh, we're beached on a tree, which, which is fun. Well, it's not a bad mooring and we don't mind. We've been very blessed with spots this winter. So this is a very temporary location. We're only here for about four days, five days. And after that, we are setting off to start our summer cruising. So the dinner was really nice at the restaurant, at the pub, it was really nice, but it was very small. So I'm still hungry and I made myself a bagel. Smoked tofu, vegan Greek cheese, cucumber, spinach and mayo. This is a great bagel. I'm so happy I made it. <sighs> Gosh, I just got so scared. What are you doing here? Oh my gosh. There is an untied dinghy in the river that Miles went to rescue it and I saw it getting closer and I opened the window to film the dinghy and <laughs> this massive swan just jumped into the boat shouting at me I almost had a heart attack I was like what <laughs> just jumping in oh god anyway the dinghy is floating down the river so I'm gonna go and see if Miles has been able to um, get our dinghy. Our dinghy is actually in our previous spot because when we went to get the water, we didn't bring it with us and then someone was in there. You are such a trouble. I was so scared. I screamed. That's how scared I was. Zender, our dinghy, is also full of water. So Miles is standing up and emptying it at the same time. Upon inspection, Miles discovered that the dinghy looked abandoned and didn't even have any ropes. It's one of the private moorings. At this point, our neighbor Tasha came out and brought a spare rope so we could tie the dinghy to a tree. Yep. New dinghy. Only if it has a sail. It's massive. It looks like a speedboat. Has it got an engine? Has it got an engine? No. That's one. I can't believe I'm still shaking from this. He wants to be a part of this adventure, or she. Yeah, I'm ho I'm holding it as well. So. Do you reckon you guys will be able to walk that back to the tree? I'm gonna take up a good spot here, is it? Safe space for the weirs. <laughs> The next day, I went to see an art exhibition on Whitchurch Bridge, recommended by our friend Darren. It's called Butterfly Effect, and each butterfly represents a household in Pangbourne and Whitchurch. This project asks each household to make a small promise, and with each promise made, a green ribbon will be tied to a butterfly gradually turning the display green. The promises are all small, like saving water by spending less time in a shower, recycling soft plastics at supermarkets, or making a butterfly patch in the garden. As someone who uses around 15 liters of water per day and have been for the last four years, I can confirm it is indeed possible to reduce your water consumption at least a little bit and you'll save money on energy bills too.
It's a gorgeous day today. Uh, today's the first day we've got the door open. It's warm enough to have it open and have some windows open. So yeah, I can feel the weather changing. It's finally getting to the season that we want. And all these warmer days um, inspired me to make a homemade deodorant. I've never made one before, but I've heard it's pretty easy. So I am going to try doing one today. It's only got a few ingredients, um, doesn't need any specific tools. So it should be quite fun. I just realized I haven't got a lot of coconut oil. I've got all the ingredients, but I don't have enough of coconut oil. So I'm going to make a very small batch, which is not a bad idea because I'm going to test it and see how it goes and make a bigger one next time when I need to. That didn't take very long to make at all. I didn't actually have containers. Well, because I was imagining I'm going to make a bigger batch. I have quite a few bigger containers. So ended up making a smaller batch and two little containers, which is fine. Yeah, I need to test it. If it doesn't work, at least I didn't waste too many ingredients. All right, so here is the set version. So this is how you use it. Just take a little bit on. And then spread around. Hopefully that's it. Since I'm making homemade things, I am going to top up our toilet spray slash wood burning stove glass cleaner. So I'm gonna make it. I make it myself every time. All you need is a glass spray bottle, vinegar, water, and some essential oils. Thank you all so much for watching. Please give this video a like and let us know if you resonate with the Butterfly Effect project. A huge thank you to our amazing patrons. Without you guys, we wouldn't have lasted three years on YouTube. You're absolute legends. If you've been watching for a while, consider joining us on Patreon, where you can sign up for as little as two pounds a month. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.